Um, good day everyone, I'm Kurt Katahag from BSIE ICT3B and today we will discuss principles of assessment. So, principles of assessment is the process by which the university appraises the knowledge, understanding, and skills of its student. Um, their harms assessment policies and procedures therefore need to be a um, cornerstone of university approach to assuring the academic standards of of its awards. Assessment also plays a key role in the student learning process and consequently is crucially important to the quality of learning opportunities the university provides to its standards consequently. The university has agreed the following principles of assessment that um, underpin its comprehensive range of assessment policies, procedures, and practices. The first principle is assessment will be valid. Assessment will be um, implicitly designed to measure student achievement of the intended learning outcomes, and all intended learning outcomes will be summatively assessed. The process for the approval of new modules and programs and for amending existing modules and programs will ensure that assessment is an integral part of module and program design and the, the ongoing validity of assessment will be considered through annual and periodic review. This consideration is supported throughout by the external subject especially by external examiners in relation to module approval, module amendments, um, program amend amendments and annual review, and by external subject specialists other than external examiners in program approval and periodic review. The next principle is assessment will be reliable. To ensure the level of consistency that is necessary for assessment to be reliable, all awards that same academic level will be aligned with the university generic qualification descriptor, level descriptor, and assessment criteria for the level of award. Additionally, all awards will be made in accordance with the relevant core regulations of the university unless uh, uh, a special case for an exception to the relevant core regulations has been approved by EC. The next one is assessment will be equitable. The university recognizes that different assessment method may be appropriate for different learning styles and it therefore encourages all programs to employ in a way that is consistent with the intent learning outcomes being assessed. A, divers, uh, a diversity of assessment methods to allow all students to demonstrate their knowledge, understanding, and skills. The university is also aware for the need to make individual assessment arrangements for the students with the disabilities and other special requirements and will ensure that appropriate process are in place to consider and address such needs. The next one is assessment will be explicit and transparent. Prior to undertaking any assessment task, students will be clearly informed of the purpose and requirements of the task and will be provided with the specific assessment criteria that will be used for making it. Feedback to students will be re related to the stated um, learning outcomes and specific assessment criteria. Clear information on the policies and processes rela relating to assessment. Assessment will be easily available to all involved in the assessment process. And the next principles will be discussed um, Brian Montana. Number 5. Assessment will support the student learning process. Assessment will be explicitly designed to measure student achievement of the in intended learning outcome, and all intended learning outcome will be summatively assessed. Number 6. Assessment will be efficient. 
Assessment will be efficient for both student and staff such that learning outcome are not overly assessed and the knowledge and skill can be sampled. Number 7. Assessment outcome will be monitored and his monitoring used to support enhancement of assessment policy and practice. Student performance in assessment tasks will be monitored on an annual basis by departments or school to ensure the assessment continue to be consistent with the principle of assessment outlined above. Number 8 and the last. Staff involved in assessment will be competent to undertake their responsibilities in this area. The university will ensure that staff involved in the assessment process will have appropriate experience and training. That's all my report with Kurt Kataan. Thank you for listening. Sana po may natutunan kayo. God bless.